Hello everyone, welcome back to Liberty App Studio and today we are going to discuss how we can use custom VPN servers in Liberty VPN. So without wasting any time, let's do it. Okay, first of all we have to configure some files so we can use our custom VPN servers in Liberty VPN. Make sure you are using the Liberty VPN version 3.0 which is the latest source code available and these files are included in the package. As you can see I am opening here the um, custom.json file which is a format JSON and we have to configure these parameters so we can use our custom servers first of all we have server name uh, here we can, you can write any server name you want or the country name of the server or any server name actually you want doesn't matter and uh, that will show exactly in the uh, in your main app and here is the server image url uh, i am using the ibb image hosting you can use any free online image hosting you want your desired one no problem in that here is the server ip address if you don't know that you can leave it empty no problem in that also other than that here is the server speed and uh, make sure if your server speed is in floating value for example like 200.33 just uh, use the decimal part which is 200 and that is properly fine for it no problem in that uh, other uh, the next one is uh, server protocol which is either use uh, udp or tcp i am here using the tcp these three last three uh, parameters are really important for example, if your uh, server is using any kind of username and password for authentication purpose or to make the connection, you have to put your server username and password right here. And the most important is OpenVPN configuration uh, we will put here. So we can uh, use that config file or that config string to make the con connection successfully. Let me show you how we have to place our config file configuration here in server config parameter. So for the example purposes, I am using this configuration which is from VPN gate also and it is available free. You can download anyone if you want. And I am using this file for so we can I can also show you how we can remove the unnecessary data. Like uh, like you can see there is a lot of commands here in this particular file and uh, for identification purpose you can identify the commands any line which is starting the, with this hash or which is starting with this semicolon we have to remove all these the, all these lines from our configuration file so they don't mess up the configuration while we are using it uh, within the app so let's do it uh, first of all i have to remove all these commands like that you can remove this whole paragraph as you can see these all of these lines are starting with hash and i can remove this too you can remove other blank spaces if you want but it is not necessary this one is also and we can do it like that other than that we can remove this whole paragraph again these lines this is also unnecessary data here and make sure there is no empty lines or end because these are totally unnecessary now this is the really important step you have to go to file here sorry in edit here and you have to click on replace or you, or you can use the short key which is control plus h and in here you have to press control plus enter which is a new line or the identifier for the new line and replace it with forward slash n when you press this you can see our configuration file change into a single line just select all by control a control c to copy this and paste it directly here in our configuration file and that's all how you can set a single server model if you want to use more than one custom servers uh, which is obvious and just copy this and uh, the this whole configuration this part as i'm highlighting uh, from this bracket to this and put a comma here and you can paste it here Change the name change the image URL other configurations and you are good to go If you use another one just put a comma here at the end and paste it boom It's that easy Just don't put the a comma at the last one because we don't need it if you do that We also it will also give you an error also if you are if you want to know which id i am using so currently i am using vs code you can use any um, any desired id or any desired text editor you want so our configuration file is ready just save it anywhere or on your desktop or anywhere which is accessible the next step is 
we have to upload this file to our domain root so we can assess it within our app as you can see i have already logged into my cpanel for from your cpanel navigate to the file manager which is right here click on the file manager and in the file manager go to your uh, public html folder from there click on the upload and upload the con uh, configuration file we have just prepared which is custom.json select the file and wait until the upload is complete then you can find your file right here which is custom.json that's it that's the file which is actually present on the root of your domain you have just write down the domain name of your root for example you have any domain name which is ended up with .com or .net slash you have to put the file name and the file name is custom.json and i recommend you to change the file name file name to your desired one so no one can assess it from the video purpose or no one can no one can assess it if he or she know the domain name of your domain okay so, so for example you can just change the file name to anything or any name dot json okay the next step is we have to set up these things in android studio so android studio can get the uh, custom servers of uh, your from your configuration file which we just prepared or upload to our domain okay in android studio just go to your app settings file and here you can notice these two new variables first one is the flag which you which you can set true or false depend upon your need for example if you want to use the custom servers in your app you can set it to true and if you don't want to use custom servers in your app you can set it to false if you set it if you set this flag to false then VIP server tab will not appear in your change server screen and second one is the URL of the file which just uploaded into our domain root which is custom.json or file name.json which contains the configuration of your custom servers that's it now you can run your app and you will find VIP servers in your change server screen let's run the app here you can see app is running and we have VIP servers tab here click on VIP server 1 so we can make connection with VIP server click on start button and wait for the connection to established and here it is we are connected and that's it for this video uh, this is how you can use custom VPN servers in Liberty VPN I hope you liked the video if you have any questions you can ask us directly in comment section or you can contact us anytime like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to our official youtube channel thank you so much see you in the next video